Pizza time. Pizza time. We're back. It was quick. We're back. Yeah, we're quick. We're, we're doing this. We're, we're jumping right in because it's very unconventional of us to we're taping this the day after or two days after technically uh, our last episode. Yeah. Uh, but only because, you know, The Last of Us is very dear to our hearts as gamers, as storytellers. Uh, anybody who knows us knows that it's like much like every, almost everything that we love together, Alex, uh, Last of Us is, again, one of the things that we just love together. Yeah, uh, it's very important to us. And, you know, we just watched episode six last night. <laughs> Finally. And yeah, I kept calling it episode four. I don't know why. All morning he's been calling it episode I'm four. trying to get out of my head. But episode <laughs> six aired la- uh, yesterday and we had to watch it. And after watching it. Uh, I had to, I hit up Alex, um, or how you technically, you hit me up first asking cause you watched it first, but yeah. Yeah. The moment I finished watching, I was like, oh shit. Okay. All right. We have to talk about this. Cause, uh, I, it's the thing that we've been sort of maybe yeah. fearing yeah. since the beginning of the show. Uh, the idea that, you know, how are they going to land the story of Joel and Ellie and as not just their story, but the, as characters, uh, how are they going to to land this with the show as an adaptation from 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 the game? And so far, we we think we've they've been doing a fair job. A lot of our criticism is aimed mostly towards Ellie and how she's portrayed. Yeah. But in episode six, Kin, we mm-hmm. finally I think we get the we know where they're going to go with these characters, and it finally hit Joel in particular in this episode, and we see. Yeah. Just sort of the, the the differences that they're going with this adaptation than what we remember sort of Joel as in the original game. And so I'm not a fan of it. I hate it. And, uh, and what you I already know how you feel, but let's like, give the audience sort of your take on it as well. And um, like, how did you feel about the episode? And Well, this was my least favorite episode by a mile. A hundred percent. Me too. Which is weird because it was mostly just Joel and ellie which is what i was clamoring for like episode three obviously might be like the best storytelling episode of the series right you know for sure but but, you know they had my my one issues with it as i wish i got a little bit more joel and ellie and now i'm just kind of going back on that because i am i hated this episode oh Uh, it's the worst episode of the season so far of the series so far yes um and uh from a from a story perspective like a, a completely stories perspective like not really filmmaking or is it all in one kind of for thing? me it's it's yeah story characters, story uh, characters. Okay. i'm okay with like you know everything has been i don't know it's so conflicting isn't it this this very series, conflicting because it's not bad yeah because again you know? like you and i we played the games we love the games uh i played on very ps3 much. i played when i got my ps4 i've played when i'm on my ps5 I, I still have yet to do that yeah, like it, I, I've played the game through the game three, four times now, and um, I've played through the second game two times now, and mm-hmm. like I love these games and I love these characters and I love Ellie and I love Joel even more, and I hate the way Joel was handled in this episode, and I equally hate how Ellie was handled in this episode. But mm-hmm. I think to be fair, our criticism has been mostly on Ellie, and like you said at the beginning, uh, this is. This this episode, I really found Joel to. Well, oh, man. All right, we're they're, 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 they neutered Joel, I think. Yeah. And yeah. look, it's something that they did in the second game, and it's where a lot of people, you know, are divided on the second game. Huge, it created a chasm, like the yeah. widest gaming chasm I think Boom. in ever history. Yeah, how did history? Like, there's probably like eight video essays out there that say how. Yeah. To <laughs> Oh my God! There's way yeah. more than eight. There's way you more know, than eight. And um, and a lot of people were very upset because Joel in the second game is very trusting of somebody very off the quick off the bat, and that's not the Joel from the first game. They no. did a lot to deconstruct Joel, and um, you start to see that they're they're putting seeds of that now yes. into this Joel, into Pedro Pascal's Joel, and. Um, I don't have an issue with his performance. His performance is great. So and, amazing. Um, yeah, it, it's just, to me, this was the worst episode of the series because it's starting to hint at what's coming for Joel and Ellie. And it's just, 
at my in my opinion, it's just lazy, typical modern writing. Yeah. Um, and you you said something about writing men and women characters today that I want to get into. Yeah. Off the bat, if you want to go ahead and go there, it was your hundred uh, percent. Let's, let's yeah. Get into it. So, I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I, again, I, I had a big problem with, with, with Jill in this episode as well. And, um, uh, it was clearly actually a very Joel centric episode. Like this was the episode that they were going to, um, show us who Joel maybe kind of quote unquote really is right. Yeah. Uh, he spoiler alert already. If you're, if you're this far in spoilers now, uh, hopefully you watch the episode, but what happens is that Joel it's revealed that Joel, you know, has panic attacks, um, anxiety, I guess, you know, and it's really the first time we're seeing this in the show, by the way, yeah. uh, there was really no buildup to that. Um, so I felt like well, it was a little bit shoehorned in. Um, it was so abrupt, like yes. he steps outside and then he just has a panic a- attack. And I was like, yeah. well, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, you faced so much shit before, man. Now is the only time you like, I'm like, okay, yeah. whatever, fine, whatever, fine. You know, we have that. I have it. So it's like, I get it. That's yeah, not yeah. a problem. But then you go you you go through the episode and you they're in Wyo, uh Jackson, which you know that that all that stuff is fun. But then you start to get to the scenes where Joel has to talk to Tommy and Ellie about moving forward past Jackson and going what's into next? the firefly. So yeah, what's next? And you realize all it is it, it's there's a ton of scenes, but basically what happens is that Joel gets very vulnerable. He opens up, particularly to Tommy. He starts crying in front of him. In fact, he's like, I'm he has doubts about himself as a character, right? Everything he's done, he's like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm old and um, you know, I need to protect her, but I don't know if I can do it anymore. Which you is know? fine. Which that's is fine. That is also fine. Yeah. That's <laughs> also just, fine. That's fine, right? Yeah. That's people. also fine. Yeah. I just want to make sure also it's not in the game. No, I it's that's not not, not that whole Never. scene doesn't happen in the game. But I was like, okay, fine. That's fine. Here's where things get problematic. So in the penultimate scene, where uh again, it's this this scene's known all around the gaming community as like probably one of the best cutscenes of all time. And it really defines, I think, sort of uh, solidifies uh, Joel and Ellie's feelings for each other in the most sort of raw way before they really become who you know they're they're going to be by the end of the show. And it's a scene where you know Joel again. Joel is saying like I, I'm going to leave you to Tommy because I don't really think I think it's the best move for you. I think it's the best move to, to for your survival. And Ellie is obviously disappointed by that because she. Uh, has grown to like Joel and trust him very much uh, after everything they've been through as like someone who can definitely protect her. And she feels a sense of, uh, uh, you know, having, uh, having a companion with him and maybe not, maybe not a father necessarily, but someone who she clearly can trust and that is willing to put his life on the line for her and, and blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not going to play the scene right now because I don't, I don't want to get, um, taken off. I'm not sure if we can, but go watch it if you can, because it's basically like uh, it is the scene that we're talking about. But basically what happens in the scene, though, is that Joel walks in and he's already sort of like a dog with his tail behind his legs. Yeah. Feeling already pretty guilty about what he's what he's you know about to reveal to Ellie about not him being the one who's going to go with her on this on this journey. While in the game, it happens very, very differently where mm-hmm. Joel, in fact, gets very, he's much more defensive and he's much more like sort of in denial of everything. And so it's a much more heated argument versus here where Joel is just sort of has already given in. And that is really a big problem. Like yeah. this scene in particular shows exactly what I think Neil and the other showrunners were sort of going to, to how, how they were going to adapt Joel into this version of, of, of the story. He's part and, two, Joel. He's part two Joel. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is not the Joel. This, this is not the Joel that, uh, that is in the beginning part of that game. And also, I mean, honestly, even that is set up, I think in the show, he's, we saw that a little bit in part one, but then in or in episode one, but in two and three and four and, and five, we show he, he like Ellie listens to Joel. Joel knows exactly what he, he needs to do. He's shown like that he's the alpha and that he needs to be uh, paid, given respect and paid attention to. But he, lo and behold, like this is just not this is not him. And right. if you watch those two scenes back to back, you'll see that it is very different. It's very different. And it's ironic because in the end of the episode in that like. Uh, where they talk about it for a second, you know, that little wrap up video that they do. Mm-hmm. They keep saying like, oh, I think we did like a good job of like, sort of getting the essence of like what, 
what that 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 cutscene was, and I'm like, mm, mm-hmm. not all the way, buddy. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't hit the same. It just doesn't. And <clears throat> so it it leads up to this: the fact that in that scene, Joel is basically sort of. A, a, sh- a little bit more of a shell of, of a character than the, what he was. He's not the alpha. And Ellie is played more, much more like she is, again, his equal, someone who yeah. can push his buttons and get to him and be almost above him. And that's just not it. No. I hated it. Yeah. It made me so mad. And guess what? This is our Joel now. Right. Yeah, and so what's it. happening? This is indicative of like, again, everything that it's it's in line with what's happening in Disney Plus and just all these shows where initially we had these strong men characters, mm-hmm. these strong men characters who are now being castrated in, fi- in, in to make room for sh- strong women characters. And the fallacy is it's like, OK, look, it's call it feminist movement or whatever. Feminism. Sure. Fine. But if the idea is men are equal, women are equal to men, then why do you have to castrate men in order to make women feel stronger? That right. doesn't, those, those two are contradictory. It doesn't make yeah. sense. And that's what's happening here. Yeah. Thoughts a, are how, so I'll, A I'll doesn't equal B in that situation. Yeah, I completely a agree. Equal does not I think equal it's, to B. it's the biggest fallacy in modern writing. And it is. You, know, you can see, again, you just go through YouTube and you start like Googling everything, and you start to realize that. Men heroes have been deconstructed now for the past two or three years, and it's just to the point where it's like, Jesus, we're doing this to Joel? Joel in The Last of Us never, ever, ever, in the first game at least, he never gives you a sign of any sort of vulnerability. He's always the one that's stoic, that's strong, that's going to lead them, that's going to get them there. There is a moment when he wants to dump Ellie, but he wants to dump Ellie because he can't do it. He doesn't want the responsibility. He's a right. dick. Like, make him a dick. Right. Yeah. Uh, and there's always, you know, as as the game goes, you know, they do become a father-daughter relationship. And they it's not an equal. You, you listen to me and you do yes. what I tell you to do. That's how this works. You know, and in the game, when they leave Tommy and Joel decides to buck up and take her the whole way. You know, they're all three of them are on on horses in the scene in the game. And yes. Joel Joel tells her, get off the horse and give it back to Tommy. He says, come on, don't make me ask you again. Let's go. Right. You know, right. And, and he has this great like it's one of the other great scenes of the show of this, the game. Sorry. Where he has this conversation. He says, you know what? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> and you, Marlene's mean. <laughs> it's not Marlene. Sorry. Uh, um, she's, What's her name? Maria. Her name. Maria. Oh, Maria is an M. Yeah. Maria is mean. She doesn't Maria like Joel. Mean. No, at all. She doesn't like it in the second game either. No, she hates no, Joel. no. She does um, not like it all at all. So he says, you know, you know, if the offer's open, we'll come back. And it's this really great scene where he decides to take Ellie, and Ellie has this realization that he he does care. He and she is so thrilled. Yeah, she's so like deep relieved. down inside, she's so relieved, and she's just so happy. Yeah, you know that she was yeah. being she's chosen. You know, and that mm-hmm. she's not going to be left behind. There are two of the three best scenes in the game, right? Or those two that. scenes, right? And then the scene in the bedroom, you know, it starts off good where, you know, she says, is this really all they had to worry about? Mm-hmm. But then she's like, it's not, there's not emotion coming out of her. She's just angry. She's, she's just, angry. Yeah. She's like, just, she doesn't go through the same emotions as Ellie in the game. Ellie in the game is heartbroken. She's crying. She's pleading with Joel. Yeah. Don't leave me. Please. Yeah. Please don't leave You're me. All I have left in this you don't really get that and again no, she's, she's she's being, head, i guess she's being snarky like she's being yeah. added to like very she she has no almost she has very little concern for joel's feelings you right. know about how he feels she's just trying to get what she needs right yeah so, anyways keep yeah, going it, it's just like one of those like i don't understand why I don't understand why you have to do this to Joel in in this game, at least. I mean, sure, you can do what you want. And the second game is the second game. You can't change it. But in the first game, you had Joel to be the guy to save you. And even even how he gets hurt in this episode is very different than the game. It's yes. very quick. And it's like, man, I just don't see that happening to Joel. And I'm not, by the way, we're not the only two that feel this. Oh, uh, really? I've okay. talked to several other people who play the game. And they are, after this episode, <laughs> they're going, yeah, the episode was okay. 
they're holding back from saying like it's the reasons like the specific yeah. reasons yeah, i like, get it that's they're fine. like it, it I, I i don't really love the joel crying scene and that's a look i think that's a fine scene you can show vulnerability in that scene. i agree i agree right but when you step outside it's back to business that's how joel was exactly he was exactly he didn't let anybody see that side of him no and i i think that like i think that writers like look at those scenes and think oh that's toxic masculinity and it's like well that's that's not you know it's, right it's the end of the right. fucking world you know like right it, it might there might be a little bit of room for a masculine character to be masculine, right. but you can also still have them be vulnerable. Um, like you look, you're at, right. Yeah, no, you make, well, really quick. Cause I think that's a really good point again to the, to this whole toxic, toxic masculinity, whatever the fuck that even means, to be honest with you. I don't know exactly <laughs> yeah, what that what means. means. I really don't. Really. It's just a, it's, it's just a huge buzzword. I feel like most people throw out there to, 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 to create, um, you know, to create a narrative and just to talk about things when it, I don't know if how much if they even know what that even fucking means. But okay, let's just let's play into it. Let's just say I do yeah. believe that in that in that scene with Ellie, the final scene, or the the heart like that that heart to heart scene, the heart to heart, yeah, yeah, yeah. They that, that's exactly what they were trying to do. They were trying to they they see the Joel the Joel game or the game. Wow, hold on, the Joel in the game <laughs> as like oh when he well, how he reacts in that scene is. It could give off uh, notes of toxic toxic masculinity yeah. because Roading, he's yeah, yeah. well, he's angry, right? He's angry. Mm -hmm. He's defensive. He's very aggressive. You know, he's unrelenting in that scene, but rightfully so. You know, it mm -hmm. it is completely it completely makes sense. But I think in in here, it's clear. It's like well why it's clear that like yeah they, they wrote all that like all, they pretty much wrote all that out he's again he comes into the door the, the start of their conversation is not that at all he, it's very low it, it starts off very much at, uh lower mm -hmm. and it's like that's not i don't know in my opinion that's not toxic masculinity just because you're being uh, you know more aggressive or that you you're seemingly uh trying to um deny ignore yeah ignore you know this Which, other person's feelings that's not that that's not that's not what's happening and right. typically Which, i believe in real life i don't think that's exactly that's not what men are trying to do i think it's a complete lack of understanding about why men are the way they are <laughs> i think that's yeah. really i really do i really feel like they don't people are not giving men a chance to explain why they act that way right i don't think yeah. inherently it's to be a dick yeah it's it comes off yeah, dickish of dickish, course it does yeah, yeah. of course it does because life is not fun and games all the time it's not yeah. and men are the ones who have to deal with that shit so yeah. yeah excuse me if like my answers aren't always exactly candy coated right yeah so you know eh. anyways to, to compare this to another show that i think beautifully handles toxic masculinity oh nice is yeah ted lasso ted lasso yeah they yeah the whole second season is about dealing with your past and dealing with your right. emotions instead of just stuffing it down and not talking about it. Right. So like the writers did half a good job in the Joel scene where he's crying. Cause he's, he's, you know, he's pouring out his heart to Tommy. Right. And you know, it's similar to the game cause he doesn't want to dump Ellie and that works, but then you can't have him go to Ellie like a, dog with a tail in between his legs no you know like he has to he's because it's not the same as ted lasso you can compare it how ted lasso handles toxic masculinity in a sports environment right right versus this where he goes and he's just given up he's given up he's just a yeah. dog that's it he's no. lost no, that's he's it. Not, it's, all, yeah. it's all over he's and ready like, he's not ready to argue his <laughs> his, his points with ellie right. anymore yeah and it's just like he's just so which I, are great points I and he like, let he lets ellie talk. i mean again i don't like the fact that he's been letting ellie talk to him that way right. in certain parts like i think it works you know for as a source of levity especially like you know when they're the more mundane stuff like the scene earlier in the in the in the episode where they're at the the canteen or whatever where they eat yeah and you know they're having just having that back it's just like hey you should say congratulations yeah. And he goes, congrats. Like, that's funny. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. That is funny. That yeah. that makes a lot of sense. But that when it works. Yes, but, that works. You know. But when it start when you start talking about deeper stuff like that, like that, that you can't give in like that. You yeah. know, these are this is where, like, yeah, he should Joel definitely needs to start speaking up for himself and not giving in to Ellie like that. Because yeah. it's and it, 
it's okay to have like in the in the game there are moments when you're like god joel's a dick and yeah he is okay because him being a dick keeps her alive yes he keeps people alive like that's that's all that matters at the end of the day whether we want to agree or not about it it, who cares so in this scope i just think that they have just decided that it's this joel is going to be a vulnerable joel and ali's going to be his equal and that's how it's going to be ali's going to be his equal at 14 years old um again i think bella ramsey is insanely one note in everything she does yeah in this show at least uh i thought she was fine in game of thrones so you know i think it was a big mistake to have her not play the games i still think it's the writing i still think it's a purposeful move now i think it's way more now and you you convinced me of this i think it's definitely now neil Druckmann versus like bella not having the capacity i think they told her that you're we're not this is not your character not told her but like they just is how they're writing her at ad- adapted character like you're not going to be a little you're going to be less uh right. vulnerable right that gets me to my next point which is the last of us tricked us we at the very top of the first like three episodes you're we saying it's the best video game adaptation i think when it's you know when you go from like game to screen kind of stuff yeah it kind of still is because there's a lot of like, oh, that's from the game. That's from the game. That's really cool. That's that's really cool. But now there's cl- two clear, distinct pools, right? There's the video game players and there's the non-video game players. Yeah. Non-video game players seem to love the show. And the video game play- players are starting to to pull away from it. They're right. starting to go, uh, I don't, I, 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 this isn't, this isn't my job. It, like, it, it, yeah. That's I think a good that's point because where we're at. And yeah. Um, it tricked, and I, the last, be fair. Last tricked us. To be fair, I actually do think that anybody who is not, who doesn't know, who isn't familiar with the games, actually will be pretty fine with what happened last night. Because they, again, we we are coming yes. from, we are definitely coming from, no, we're not trying to hide it. We are coming from the fact that this is an adaptation of the games and that we do love these characters as they as they were. I, but I do think we have, so, and you know, if that's not who, if you don't know them and you don't care about them, that's fine. Because you, if you didn't play it, that's fine. And if you like these characters as they are and how they're represented, that's fine too. I'm yeah. not bagging you if you think, if you if you attach them and you think what happened in that that scene last night was fine, that's fine. No, I'm not arguing that. Yeah, I um, agree. It's not about I, that. It's not about that. Yeah, I don't think it's about that at all. I just think that, you know, again, it, it is, it's two parts for us. We do, lo- we do love the characters as they were in the game. But at the same time, I think we're bringing up a good point about how they as on on a writing level and again on the sort of woke level they are this is this continues to propel the the, this ideology of toxic masculinity and needing to tear that down and that it's complete misrepresentation it's like a really a it's a complete misunderstanding of like males yeah in general and i i i don't love that that's sort of what is in the media today I don't think it's helpful for any parties of yeah, like to I think mean, that this is sort of how maybe we should move on as a society is to I, con- deconstruct right. ma- males. You know, I watched a a great like video. Uh, it was on this YouTube channel called Breaking Points with Crystal and Sagar, and they're interviewing a man mm, uh, seen that. who is he's a li- uh, he's a liberal, and he wrote a book about men in peril, and mm. it's it went into many many details about how younger men are depressed, jobless, more suicidal, um, mm-hmm. addicted to certain sort of drugs than ever before. And it's, you know, when you get shows like this, and unfortunately, a lot of things that we've seen recently, like we just come off, came off Ant-Man and the Wasp. And part of my, you know, part of my theory as to why Ant-Man and the Wasp is getting such bad reviews is because, well, Paul Rudd's the hero. They let yeah. the white guy be the hero, and I don't think that sat well with a lot of people. Uh, and you know, hey, you don't probably don't like me for that, but that's okay. Uh, that's but, okay. Yeah. Back to the you know the men in peril part. Like when everything is like this, when all the men in and heroes are like this, of course that's what happens because everything, every turn you look, it's masculinity is bad. Masculinity is bad. It's all toxic. It's just you're just you know. Uh, perpetrating the patriarchy or whatever yeah it's not that it's not it's not even that it's not that it's bad it's like there's just no value in it anymore there's nothing it's not it's not even something it's not even something to be uh, commended for it's Mm -hmm. not something that people should look to for appreciation 
Right. And that's, that's so it's that I think that's talk that kind of thinking I think is toxic. toxic. Yeah. Again, that's like, insanely toxic. No, no one's saying you need to go be a big guy and be a jerk about stuff, but like, no, that's not what we're saying. There still should be room where not everything masculine is not welcome, but here we right. are. And yeah, you know, to tie it back to the show, I think that, I, I think that Neil Druckmann's too close to it. Neil Druckmann is too close to the last of us because he's, taking the Joel from part two and we're going to talk about almost going to spoilers of part two in part two. It starts off with Joel trusting somebody. He ends up getting betrayed and dies. Now the, if us coming from that game, from the first game, the Joel we played for several, several years would never do that. As soon as they, you know, they, they get caught in a hairy situation. And then as soon as they get caught in a hairy situation, Joel and his brother, Tommy are both there. They would have turned a gun on this girl and said, who are you? What the F are you doing so close to our, our society? And why are you here? And also, that's how the show probably would have handled it too, by the way, because that's how hostile they handled Joel and Ellie when they showed up. Exactly. So, But no, that was just thrown away because we need to tell the story of this other girl, Abby. Which, by the way, Abby's story is the exact same story as Joel. You're just supposed to be happier for her that she does it. Instead of being, you know, instead of, you know, being like, ugh, Joel's kind of a dick. You're supposed to be, Abby's great. It's the same fucking story. Yeah, it's just that she's a woman. Yeah, so. She's not, she's not a, she's not a, uh, well, she's white. (laughs) But she's she's not a, she's not a male, she's not a a male. Right. I think, I I agree with you. Like, a lot of that I felt like was very much retread just for this glorification of this. Yeah, let's just retread and rewrite this character into Just so that it's not Joel. A shell of, yeah. And that it's Abby. Yeah. And it's like. That's like, like, you know, it, if this was just, uh, what is it? Gus Melzahn. He's the showrunner. I believe. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. If it was just him, cause he did the Chernobyl show. I think this show would be better off. Uh, and this is the first time I'm ever going to say, say this. If this is what they were going to do with Joel and Ellie, I think they would have been better off actually deviating from the game. Uh, maybe so. Yeah. Like again, I think I I can't say it enough. The Last of Us tricked us. Everyone is saying it's the best video game adaptation, but at the end of the day, you have the video go- video game players going, "This isn't our Joel and Ellie." It's not. And uh that's where in, we're at. That's where in I'm its at. defense, in its defense, I think I think as of right now at least, I think that trick is a little bit strong for me. I think it tricked us. And I, I hear, I hear you. I hear you. I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't. If that's how you felt, I mean, I get it. I mean, I don't. I feel a little tricked too. I do. I do. That being said, I feel like there's a there is by saying that I feel like we're we're lessening sort of the experiences they've already given us that I thought was there were really strong that I thought actually were better than the games. I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to say I'm pissed off with the way that they're definitely handling Joel and Ellie. It's the thing that we have been worried about. But everything else, I think they've done an incredible job of ad- adapting. This is the one part where I'm like, okay, no, you're you you failed me on this one for sure. The but as a whole, part. I think they do a great job. I'll say that. I do but think it's it is the most, most important it is the most, part. I agree with that. I Joel agree and Ellie are the most important parts. I agree with you. I agree with you. But I, yeah. I still think that like the likes of episode three and the likes of episode five are really, really strong in my or wait, five, right? Yeah. Because they're side characters. But We're they're not, yeah, you're the right. Side characters. We're not focused on the know, main part of the story. It's still, the, but it's, but unfortunately, it's still, it is the last of us. It is, it is a part of this world. It is made by those creators. So then just do oh, vignettes like that. Well, that's not what they chose to do, you know. I mean, but. yeah. Again, for me, this was the worst episode uh, because it confirms our worst fears. I think that yes, uh, Joel, that is for sure. Joel is who we thought he is now, and Ellie is who we think she is. Um, These and, are the characters, yeah. And yeah, I, I mean, uh, Ellie. I, I, I really know. hope we all know how Joel awakens from his injury and what he does, and I hope we get to see that. I hope we get to see Joel be. <laughs> You know, a Look, as long as long as it as long as, long as, as far as I'm concerned, as long as it it's not directly related to Ellie, they're perfectly fine with Joel being the masculine person that he needs to be. It's but the point. moment, the moment it has something to do with Ellie or perhaps another strong female character, uh, he's going to be reined back in. That's that's yeah. pretty clear. That's pretty yeah, clear. That's a good point. And that's pretty. Yeah. That's 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 just fucking annoying. Yeah, it's, it's really really it's really really annoying. And man, I just yeah I just. 
I don't know. Again, I am conflicted because I, I do still enjoy watching this world come to the screen. Um, yeah, me too. I just don't enjoy Joel and Ellie. And I don't. Well, I mean, I was enjoying Joel. And then, you know, like you start to get hints that he's not the same Joel when he has the panic attacks. And then when he falls asleep and Allie's over there protecting him, standing over him, protecting her. Like, yeah, yeah. Showing, oh, I forgot about that scene. The, here's this. I forgot here's about switch. that scene. Uh, oh, and know. she says she does a little bit of a little time, not as far as she Hulk, but she goes like, I can look, I'm not, not too shabby. Right. Like, yeah. Well, what like, did you do? Yeah. Man? Yeah. Ellie, that's not the point though. You yeah. dumb fucking, Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's just, uh, it's just but the it's, point not the it's not the point. It's not the point, Ellie. Yeah. So the point is, I'm trying to fucking protect you. Yeah. And you can't put. Otherwise, okay, you you stand guard and you die. Guess what? I'm stuck here in the middle of nowhere. Don't have everything for no reason. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like yeah. that's not the point, Ellie. That's not the point. Exactly. Like, and that's what again, I fear. Like a lot of people misconstrue. I think I get that. Like that, that happens with a lot of father daughter relationships, right? Or just any sort of higher figure with a younger, you know, figure where okay. they get annoyed because they, the, the, the older figure is just being a little too uptight mm -hmm. or whatever. And like being a little bit too constricting. And it's like, at the end of the day, yeah, because that is how it should be. Cause right, right. now it isn't about you. It's about what we're doing. Like, there's a whole bigger thing that's about to occur yeah. that we're doing, and it's not about you. So those right. moments, again, I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's wrong to have those moments if that's who Ellie is as a character. But then have Joel interject. Have yeah. Joel be Joel. Then be like, yeah, exactly. yeah that's like, that's yeah, okay, cool. But fucking stop. Still, like, right. no, you you, yeah. you still have to have Joel say. No, that's what happens in the games. It's right. what happens in that scene again in that in the in the in that penultimate scene and Joel uh, in the games and Joel does not do that here. It's so it's so annoying. It's, it's just annoying. so yeah. it's so freaking it's so irritating to not see Joel. Like Joel has to Joel really has to like keep it in just so that she can shine. And I feel again, yeah. that 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 little piece of narrative I think is something that a lot of men today particularly are doing. And it's yeah. what's really causing a lot of men to start to cr like sort of really decompose uh, with yeah, who they are so. and how what they're how they're supposed to act and sort of they're they're, they're confused, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I would implore anybody, anybody, please watch the scene, the the, the game cinematic, because yeah. it's it's just that the difference better. is night and day, and it's yeah. better because you both characters get to shine, both characters get we understand who both are, and that they both get their sort of emotional. Uh, payoffs yeah. and understanding in that scene. But yeah. this one, I don't think Joel does. I think Ellie gets it all. And that's really, that's really yeah. sucky. To me, yeah. it's just, they've worked so hard to let Ellie shine while holding Joel back. And yeah. that's, that's where I am. And like, as I start to like last night's episode made me start to think about has Pedro Pascal really shined? Has he been allowed to shine? Is Joel Not all like, the way. Joel, Not Joel? No. And I was like, no, they kind of been, They've been holding them back. They say, no, you're going to be like this, which I hate. I hate it so much. And again, like the Joel, uh, I can't say this. Yeah, enough. Joel there has yet to lose his shit, you know? Yeah, like, there oh. are two pools. We've yet to see badass Joel yeah, at all. Right. There are two pools of people. There are people who have never played the games and they love it. They think it's great. There are people who played the games and even people are, who are trying their hardest, because I have two friends that are trying their hardest to love it are starting to deviate they're starting oh, to go like, i don't blame oh, i don't i don't like this i don't like the don't way this is going you know what my one friend is like why the fuck is joe crying what's yeah. what the fuck we never saw that in the game no again, he like, never cries i can Not get once. why you want to do it you want to you want to layer him up right you want to show that he's got some layers to him that he's actually struggling with this just as much as ellie is even though we haven't seen ellie struggle at all by the way not once you know hey we got a little bit of a captain marvel situation here uh, very one note. Uh, so I get, I get why you do it. I get why you show that scene, but it just didn't work for me. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> just, it doesn't. I, I get it. Like, it. It doesn't come back to who Joel as a character needs to be. Again, yeah, I don't. I think it's. I actually. Again, I was okay with the scene because it's not like us men don't want like cry. do that every once in a while of course we yeah. fucking cry but it's it, it's in an appropriate moments like that where at least to us where mm -hmm. this is your this is your brother no one else is around and you just need to get this out 
because right. at the end of the day for him, it is a matter of like, can I actually protect her? And I feel like I can't, I'm failing at that. Yeah, I cry too, I get that. But again, as you said in the beginning, the moment he steps out of that goddamn door though, it, that needs to go all the way. Yeah. You know, that just, I'm sorry. I mean, that, but that, that's, that's the reality for most men. And maybe, maybe they're painting a new reality for us that, well, it shouldn't have to be. Men shouldn't have to do that. But I'm sorry, dude. Like, I, I disagree. Yeah. I, we can't have all men be doing that. Right. Society agree, yeah. will fucking crumble. But even <laughs> you know, in, like, you know? even in the, the scope of this game, you have to understand the scope of the game, like the world they're in. Yeah. There is it's not a different. lot of time for, panic attacks right there is not a lot of time for this no. stuff like no the world has been taken over by mushrooms yeah like it's no, just, there, yeah this is not the time for for the yeah for yeah, this this is not the time for you to it's put really the tail not. between your legs and so yeah no. I, I left the episode just kind of insanely disappointed and then you know to finish up the episode they get to eastern colorado university go bighorns and uh they i wish i knew what that meant um it's the mascot and i get it i get it yeah oh <laughs> anyway uh and we see the i mean these this was basically game for game it looked exactly like the university yeah it's it, pretty pretty close pretty close right and then uh they get attacked by four raiders and uh one stabs joel uh how he got stabbed i'm not 100 percent sure because it looked like well, he, a baseball bat broke well he, off the, the guy him. he did well no 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 oh. well the the baseball bat breaks because he misses Joel and then he hits the tree, so uh, obviously now oh, he, and he, he has the shard he's, and then he stabbed them. Ah, he ha- he's see. holding it. You don't really see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, also go watch the game cut scene because that's way better. No, way better. Way better. It's so better. cool. Uh, anyway, it's so, so much better. Yeah, but like I, 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 to me, it ended on a massive like letdown because I we get to that point and again I, this is where. I can, I've said it like eight times in this fucking, this little 20 minute thing. We get to the, to the end. And I think I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be this, this big fight scene. Joel gets pushed off a second story balcony and he <laughs> lands on like a rebar and it goes through his side. And I was like, Oh my God, we're going to see this. It's going to be amazing. Ellie's going to pick him up and get him to the horse and they're going to run away. And then we're going to see Joel fall and you know, it's going to end. Uh, no, one guy runs at him with a bat, misses him, gets a stab on him. It just ended so yeah. uneventfully to me. Yeah. I was like, <sighs> yeah, it sh- I thought it was really going to end a lot larger. Grander. I really thought it was going to yeah. be a lot more. And it should have just because <sighs> yeah. that is a really important part of the game where you realize like, oh, Ellie's yeah, okay. Ellie's on her own for a second. Yeah. You know, I mean, and it, uh, time jumps like a month in the game, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. No, it, it goes. It goes pretty far. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, here I'm like, so are they going to time jump a month? Because like, I mean, I don't know. I think he should be fine after like four days, maybe. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think, I'm not sure. I don't well, feel that whole like, oh no. The next episode got teased as the uh, Left Behind episode. It is the so Left Behind episode. Ellie yeah. and Riley. Riley. Yeah. Uh, so I, I probably, I'm going to skip it. Um, <laughs> look, I, to be completely honest, after this episode, I'm. Left Behind DLC was great though. I'm off you skip the it? ship. I'm oh, off the ship. Man. I'm off the boat at Damn, this point. Like, they like, got, I can probably oh, jump no. back on. Like, Bro, I'm, you're lying. I think you're like, you're going to catch it every look, week. Come on. You want to yeah, see it I, through. I'll you still catch it because I'm six episodes in. But yeah. like after this, my worst fears were confirmed. I, like, I saw some of the like discourse online. Like The critical drinker, he he said, I, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm telling you. I'm seeing signs here of what's going to happen to Joel. And uh the I think we all did. Usually, the, we all did, yeah. We all did. The dude's yeah, usually right, and I was like, no, nah, they're not going to do that. And I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I just did it. I knew they were Me? going to. I mean, they have already, but the question was, to what degree were they going to do it? Right. And this this, this one has confirmed it, 100%. I already know. I know the drinker is going to be like, what the fuck, is, what the fuck is uh, Joel crying? Like... <laughs> What is this? He's just gonna be like, this is bullshit, you know? This is this is this is not it's again, it's, it's he's gonna say exactly what we said. It's the continued deconstruction of the male, you know, of the male. And that's that sucks, you know. It's it's not a great sign, I think, uh, for where right. we're headed, at least in I mean, for what at least media is is trying to 
propel us to um and it's a, it's a, it's a huge bummer i mean i'm gonna finish it i still think i you know from a filmmaking perspective i still like really enjoy a lot of the things that they're doing but yeah at this point man i mean you're right joel and ellie like i'm i'm i don't know i don't it's not gonna hit it's not gonna hit like a game yeah. and i don't recognize i you know, I don't recognize them. And then that's, and then whatever, you know, like it, it's a big bummer. It's a huge bummer for what really was shaping up to be possibly like, not just a great adaptation, but just really, you know, a really phenomenal show. And um, like really yeah, one of the for, better ones we've seen in a long time. That's a great point for me. It went, it was into a, it was in the realm of here's a great show to now. It's just like, meh, here's another show. Yeah. Like, that's what you did. That's exactly what you did. Cause, cause you're right. I mean, I, I, I made the point, but it also, it goes to your point that like the strongest parts of the show so far have been episodes that are not just Ellie and Joel. Yeah. Like they're, they're the things that they're the ones that like, deal with other characters, which yeah. characters, I love, but the characters you like so far so much are Henry and Damn. Tommy yeah. and Bill. Like, they're yeah. not Joel and Ellie. They're not Joel and Ellie. They're <laughs> so not Joel and Ellie. And it's like, uh, that's a, uh, yeah, it's a huge bummer. Um, speaking of Tommy too, man, like he, I mean, not that he was castrated, but like in the game, I don't know if you remember this, but in the game, that discussion where Joel goes to him and says like, you got to take her. That was way more testosterone fueled than yeah. here. This was not even close to what happened in the game. Not even close in the game. Yeah. Tommy gets really angry. Like they yeah. both get really angry at each other. It almost gets physical because Tommy does not forgive Joel for what no. he made them do right. in the past murder. He, yeah. he does not he, at all. He's like, right. no, no, no. I hate you for right. what you did. And you made me do for us to quote unquote survive, survive, right. you know, and they have a, you know, they, it was clear that they were never going to resolve be that. Okay. Again. Yeah. yeah. They were going to be brothers forever, but they were just, that, that was never going to be on the table for them to resolve. And they, they, I think Joel like pushes Tommy against the thing. Like it's just, the tensions were so high, which then led to that great scene again with Ellie and Joel, when Joel was just like, he's so angry, right? He's just so, he's just so frustrated. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the, again, it's just a di way different Joel that we got in this scene. Way yeah. different, it way different work. layout. It just, and it just doesn't work. It's nowhere yeah. near as compelling right. as it was in the game. I'm sorry. It just wasn't. And it's yeah. all seemingly in favor of this this new sort of yeah this male disconstruction this new, the new male yeah anyways um yeah anything else to say other than that I think yeah. we uh, that's our no, frustration I, I need yeah to <laughs> it's gotten to the point it's to the boiling point now where you just you got you're stuck with it and there's nothing you're you can stuck do with it, it. there's the, it is what it is these mm. these are the characters and like I guess you and I yeah the best thing we can do is go all right well that was that yeah um, everyone else enjoy you know yeah. uh, but Have fun. Then don't come to us saying like, aren't Joel and Ellie great? <laughs> We're yeah. going to be like, ah! I don't know about that. I don't yeah. know about that. We'll see. Yeah. All know. right. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Later.